this question we are asked to check for the injectivity and sub subjectivity of the given functions so injectivity and subjectivity they are both they're basically the other names of 1 1 and on to so injectivity means injectivity means 1 1 and uh, subjectivity is simply on to so before trying to uh, check if uh, given functions are 1 1 and on to well, let us first try to understand what 1 1 and on to mean so a 1 1 function is basically a function like let's say f x from a to b then for every two different elements from a there must be two different images in b that is if let uh, a1 a2 belongs to a then if a1 not equal to a2 then f of a1 must not be equal to f of a2 this is a condition for 1 1 and then on 2 means that uh, every element in like uh, if f maps from a to b then every element in b must have a pre image in a if it has n elements then all the n elements must have a pre image in a so now let us try to check whether the given functions are one only not or not so first first function is f mapping from n to n and is given by f of x is equal to x square so f of x is equal to x square and f is mapping from n to n so let's take any two natural n means natural numbers here so let's take any two different natural numbers n1 and n2 let's say n1 not equal to n2 then f of n1 is equal to n1 square this is surely not equal to n2 square so which is not equal to which is equal to f of n2 so that is f of n1 not equal to f of n2 so the given function f is 1 1 in nature now uh, it is given that uh, set b is a natural number so n spans from 1 to infinity but for not all the natural numbers are having a square root which is a natural number like for example if we try to plot the uh, if we try to notice uh, images of uh, natural numbers uh, we, which are following the function f of x then we get 1 and then there is 4 and then there is 9 then there is 16 and then 25 and then 36 so on so all the natural numbers in between these two squares are missing their pre images in the uh, set n uh, natural numbers so that means given function f is not uh, on to in nature second function is uh, in the second question it is given same function is given but now we are mapping from integers to integers so integers are basically uh, consisting of both positive and ne uh, negative numbers with zero so yeah, it will also follow the same uh, trend but now it will follow in the two sides of zero so 0 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 so on even in negative side it will get 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 so on so we can see that if we take uh, like two values minus two and plus two we know that both will have same image that is four so both are having same images that means uh, if two elements which are different but having same same images so that means given function f mapping from integers to integer is not a one one function so this is not a one one function and just as in the case of natural numbers even here between the squares which we 
we are having many other elements spanning the in the span of natural numbers like two and three in this case so these are not having a pre-image in in the integers again so like square root of three is not an integer square root of two is not an integer so that means this is also not an onto function in the third question we are given again the same function but now we are mapping from uh, real numbers to real numbers so real numbers they are set of all the positive and negative numbers except for the imaginary numbers so it's like whole span of numbers we can uh, write down except for the imaginary numbers so now if we uh, if we plot the f of x versus x that is this axis gives set a and this axis gives set b then we get a continuous distribution like this so what happens is for any two values uh, we have taken like this value and this value we will get same image so that means uh, this function mapping from real numbers to real numbers is not one on function but uh, the span of f of x uh, fills a fills a whole span of real numbers so uh, we can see that there is no gaps between any two uh, images so that means it uh, given function f is onto in nature this is on doing nature. So next we are given in the fourth question. F of x is equal to x cube and uh, it's going from natural numbers to natural numbers. So just as in the previous case, we will get again. F of x is equal to x cube. So it's again just as in the first case for two different values n1 and n2 since it's mapping from natural numbers to natural numbers we'll get if n1 not equal to n2 n1 cube is not equal to n2 cube so that means f of n1 not equal to f of n2 so given function is 1 1 in nature And uh, just as in the case of x square, even here we'll be getting values such as 1, and then 2 cube is 8, and uh, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is again 64, so on. All the values in between these, uh, these numbers are uh, not having any pre images in set n. So, that means uh, given function f is not onto in nature. Now again f of x is equal to x cube is given, but now we are uh, mapping from integers to integers. So previously when f of x is equal to x square is given, and we are mapping from integers to integers, we have seen that f is not one one and uh, not onto in nature. Let's see here. Now if we take n1 and n2 then if n1 and n2 is not same then even if n1 is is equal to minus n2 we will get that uh, n1 cube is equal to minus of n2 cube. So that means no two elements are having same images. So f is this function f of x mapping from integers to integers is 1-1 one, one in nature and uh, similarly as in the case of natural numbers even here we get uh, spans between two consecutive cubes like 1, 2, 8, 27 we have minus 1, minus 8 and minus 27 so the span of uh, two cubes is 
this the elements in the gap of these two consecutive numbers are not having any pre images in the integer set so that means this f of x mapping from integers to integer is not onto in nature 